Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And in this video, we're going to go over how to find the equation of a line that passes through two points. First, in this problem, we need to draw a scatter diagram treating x as the explanatory variable. Here's the data table, and notice this point negative 2, negative 4, it's not in the first, second, or third graph here, but if I blow up graph D, there's negative 2, negative 4, also negative 1, negative 1, and so on. So to get past this part of the problem, just click on D for me. And now for part B, we want to find the equation of the line that contains the points negative 2, negative 4, the first point in the list, and 2, 5, the last point in the list. Okay, so here are the points we're working with, negative 2, negative 4, and 2, comma 5. The first thing we have to do is find the slope of the line. And the slope can be found using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I think it's a good idea to label the values that you have. The first x, negative 2, is x1. The first y, negative 4, is y1. 2 is x2, and 5 is y2. So in the formula, we subtract y2 minus y1 in the numerator, 5 minus negative 4. In the denominator, we subtract x2 minus x1, and that's 2 minus negative 2. Remember that subtracting a negative number is the same as adding a positive number, so the numerator is the same as 5 plus 4. And the same thing happens in the denominator, that's 2 plus 2. And that leaves us with 9 fourths as our slope, or in decimal form, that's 2.25. Now we need to find the y-intercept, b. We're trying to find this equation, y equals mx plus b. We have values that we can use for x, y, and m. And if we substitute those into the equation, we can find the missing value, b. So I'm going to use the point 0.25 because both values are positive, you could also use the other one, negative two, negative four, you'll get the same result. So my value of y is five, my value of m is 2.25, my value of x is two, and so my equation is five equals 2.25 times two plus b. Multiply, 2.25 times two is 4.5, so now I have five equals 4.5 plus b, Subtract 4.5 from both sides of the equations to isolate b, and we're left with 0 0.5 equals b. So we have found our slope, 2.25. We have found our coordinate of the y-intercept, 0 0.5. So instead of y equals mx plus b, now we can fill in m and b, and the equation is y equals 2.25x plus 0 0.5. So the slope was 2.25 and the intercept B was 0 0.5. So the equation is Y equals 2.25X plus 0.5. Check that answer, excellent. And to finish this problem off, we wanna graph the line on the same graph. Now to pick the right graph, it has to have the point negative two, negative four on it, as well as the point 0.25. And notice that graph D goes through both of those points. Also notice that the y-intercept is at 0 0.5, and its slope is roughly 2.25, up 2.25 over 1, and so on. So D is the graph for us. Let's click on that. And there you go. I hope this video helps you with finding the equation of a line that goes through two points. I did want to show you one last thing. We could use StatCrunch to do this as well. Let me show you how. I'll open up StatCrunch, and I'm only interested in the two points mentioned. So under a new column, VAR3, I'm going to put negative 2 and negative 4 under VAR4, plus in the next row I'll put 2 and 5. StatCrunch, to find the equation of a line that goes through two points, actually needs three points to do this. So we just duplicate one of the points. I'll type 2, 5 again. Now we can do stat, regression, simple linear, choose var3 as your x variable. That, those contain the x coordinates. And for var4, 
4, that's the y variable. Press compute, and here is our equation. Ver 4 equals 0.5 plus 2.25 ver 3. That's the same equation we found earlier, y equals 2.25x plus 0.5, just written in a slightly different order. In algebra, we typically write it in the form mx plus b, where x is listed first and the intercept is second. But in statistics, we typically do it the other way, the intercept first and then the term containing the x variable second. Okay, I hope this helps you out. Good luck. If you have any questions, let me know.